Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about that how we are going to setting up a RabbitMQ cluster for beginners. So before like I have talked about that how we are going to install RabbitMQ in our local Windows machine. Now we will talk about that how we are going to creating the cluster into a system but why we need the cluster. So if we want to scale our application a cluster actually allow us to multiple RabbitMQ server to work together like it will actually improve the reliability of the applications and also it will improve the performance of the system like let's say there is a multiple amount of for actually data we need to process so like if we work with the one node then it will vary it will down the performance of the application so that's why if we create the multiple nodes at a time multiple record actually it will process right so that's why we need to create the multiple node and that is called the actually cluster like creating the multiple nodes and then joining them to a cluster so that if we pass multiple records so that the data actually divided between multiple nodes so they will in the same time they will actually process multiple records so that it will improve the performance of the application as well as the improvement of the system also so this is the kind of basic idea so now actually we are going to talk about that how we are going to create the cluster and multiple node over here so let us now open this rabbitmq command prompt that uh, actually it will from here we are going to create all the like uh, like uh, what i can say that uh, creating the node and all so for that we need to follow some command over here so first of all we need to set the port of this rabbitmq so for setting up the port so there is a one command like set rabbitmq underscore node underscore port that is five seven five six seven three so in this way we are going to set the rabbitmq node port then we need to set the rabbitmq node name how we are going to set the rabbitmq node name so as we said that node port equals to five six seven three similar way we can set the rabbitmq underscore node name equals to node two here we can defining any kind of name over here after that we are going to set the listener port actually like uh, rabbitmq that is you can see over here the rabbitmq server start arguments rabbitmq management listener port this is and the rabbitmq stomp that is tcp tcp listener port that is 61614 so in this way you can set the port over here now we need to for creating we need to open this one as detach mode so now the node is basically is got created over here next what you can do we need to stop this node do till now if we open this one here nothing no node actually we are showing over here now we need to first of all we need to stop this node so how we are going to stop this node so like rabbit mqctl this is the command this is the key actually that we need to use for executing any command minus n means node then node name and then stop hyphen app so in this way we are going to stop the existing app over here okay so it will basically stopping the app over here so it will actually stop next we need to what we can do next next we need to join the cluster over here so how we are going to joining this node with the existing node over here, existing node whatever the node so currently you can see this node is available rabbit at the rate idea hyphen pc so this node is available and now we are going to node 2 we have created this is the new node this node actually we need to join with this this actually existing node so for that we need to join this node using the cluster over here so for that also we need to like uh, we need to uh, write one command over here like rabbitmqctl minus n then node 2 then join underscore cluster for joining this node okay so let it stopping this it will take some time so once this will stop then we can execute the like joining cluster command over here so now as you can see over here this uh, this node basically is stopped now so now we are going to create the cluster over here so for that we need to use this rabbitmqctl hyphen n 
then node to join underscore cluster then the another node name rabbit underscore idea hyphen pc this is the host name basically now if we click the enter over here so it will basically you can see that we can see it will the node two will come over here once the joining will be done so it will creating the cluster in the node actually so it should come over here you can see that node two is now came over here you can see also the statistic but node is not running so we need to start this node two over here so for that we need to like there is another command the rabbit mqctl hyphen n then node to start underscore app so using this we can start the app so you can see over here the node to will start soon you can see all the green line instead of this message you can see some another message over here it will starting the node over here okay so you can see it will got started over here so that means now the multiple nodes are available into this over here we can use these two nodes over here you can see the statistics over here means both are active now now suppose if we want to remove one app over here so that so how we are going to doing that so first of all we need to stop the existing app so that means node 2 we are going to remove from the cluster so first of all we need to stop this one so once it will stop we can see also over here that node will be not node is not running so after that we need to execute another command which is rabbit mqctl reset so once we execute this then you can see that node will be not appear over here means we are remove this from the cluster you can see that node statistics is not available and also it is got report re removed over here so this is actually all about this that how we are going to creating the cluster into the existing rabbitmq running application and also how we are going to remove the existing node from the cluster so this is all about these things and next i will uh, in next tutorial i will like explain how we are going to connect this rabbitmq from the spring boot application how you're going to push the data into queue from pull the data from this queue in my next i will cover this one this is about or um, this is actually all about this rabbit mq cluster things if you guys have anything please do let me know please press the bell icon for further notification do not forget to subscribe my channel thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye